All right, are you right, Lily? I think I have found the perfect spot just right here. The new slope looks fantastic. It will be right next to the clone cookie tree, and it will be one heck of an important memory that I will ever, ever so deeply be grateful for. So, all right, let's do this. I want my little cherry tree sapling. I'm gonna plunk it down right there. We're gonna go ahead and grow it. <gasps> Beautiful, look at that. One, two, three, four, five five gorgeous cherries. It would have been nice if some popped up on the other side, but that's okay, Lily. We have to be grateful for what we can get because I know I sure as heck am just about ready to pass out with gratitude right now. All right, I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna make just a little, uh, little teensy sign. Well, you know what? Let's just be bold about it right here. And I'm going to put a lovely cherry on this sign. Ooh, let's see. If I put it there, that should be good. And here... What am I going to put that could possibly convey how relieved I am? Hmm, let's go, uh, let's, let's, let's put something nice and lighthearted, Lily. So we're gonna go ahead and put to the mini cherry, uh, to the mini cherry adventures. Gosh, it doesn't fit. Hmm, let's see, let's, okay, let's maybe move the little cherry way, 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 way down. Cause it can be at the bottom, like a really lovely little footnote, Lily. And then over here we'll say to the mini cherry and then next line okay adventures yet to come there oh and i'm just going to carefully there oh that looks wonderful oh and that feels better too <sighs> All right, guys, hello everyone, and welcome. Welcome back to Zoo Crafting, which is not only a wonderful Minecraft series based across many years, building up a sprawling zoo, but Lily, that was so cute. What on earth? What on earth? You're feeling the mood too? That was so adorable. You just suddenly had a little heart out of the blue. That was awesome. Also, oh my goodness, you're just, oh, good girl, good girl. That was really cute. She's feeling the love too. But yes, yeah, so welcome back. Welcome back to Zoo Crafting, which is not only a sprawling zoo building series, but is also kind of the home of my heart, the home away from home, the the insight into everything that goes on in my head, in my heart, and with a fantastic growing community. And because it is so important to me, oh, I really wanted to kind of touch on what I talked about last time. I, I mentioned how there were some family things and some health issues going on, and, and I couldn't really tell you about it because it's not my health stuff, but I was really sick with worry and couldn't think straight, and so I just planted a bunch of sunflowers. Lily is apparently very, very happy. I'm not going to question that. She's feeling the love right now, too. Well, I got some very, very good news that my chips is going to be okay. Chips, the love of my life my best friend, the partner in all of my adventures, got some really spooky news where the doctor was like, yes, you may have a life-threatening disease, a very dangerous life-threatening disease with a very low outcome of uh, survival. Yeah, that's kind of what's been going on the last couple of weeks. I have been completely out of my mind with worry. It is like your whole mind is just blasted, completely clean. There is nothing left. All you can kind of do is sit there and just stare at the love of your life and be like, no, no, this, see this, 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 I, I don't allow this, this can't happen. But it was super spooky, right, Lily? It was very, very spooky, but thankfully, oh my gosh, we got the all clear. <laughs> And we have many more adventures yet to come. So I wanted to plant this cherry tree here and I wanted to curl up against it because even though we were trying to say, oh, it's, it's just it's just precautionary. This isn't going to be a big deal. It's nothing to worry about. And it turned out to be nothing to worry about. When you get news like that, even if it ends up being nothing, it does something to your life. It shapes your life in a way where like, yeah, you know you should take every day for what it has and be super grateful. But even just the hint of news like that kind of shifts how you look at everything. It shifts how you look at each other. And and I just really needed a monument to that. I wanted Lily, yeah, good girl. I just wanted a way to be able to like look in my garden of memories and put my hand up against this tree and remember what I felt like then. Because 
sometimes I can get really caught up in being a little bit of a workaholic, to say the least. I don't know anybody else who's created almost 6,000, 7,000 adventures on YouTube after all. And I know more than once I've turned away from going on a walk or playing with chips because I felt I had an obligation to my community and to my adventures. And this, this was the kind of thing that blasts all of that clear. And it's like, if you could only have one thing in the world, just one thing out of everything, Lily, that you could keep out of the entire world, what would you want it to be? And yeah, my answer is definitely chips. I would give up everything else, everything I have, every, every beloved bird, every beloved adventure I've created, my ability to make adventures, anything. Like my, my feet, I don't know, like everything. It's ridiculous the way you think when you think that one thing will disappear. And it's not, and we're gonna be fine, and we're gonna go on some big adventures in just a few days nonetheless, but, whew, I guess I just wanted this tree, not as a way to kind of spook myself into being more grateful for every day, but to remember that sense of clarity that came even among that crisis of knowing, no, this, with this person, is what I want. This out of everything I've experienced in life, out of every adventure I've gone on, every good thing I've ever had, this is what I want. That is what it felt like, uh, knowing that. And so even in the midst of that chaos and fear and terror, it was really nice to have that clarity. So I wanted a tree in our Garden of Memories to be able to like commemorate that lily. And now we have one. Oh, and a cherry tree is perfect because we're chips and Siri. Together it makes a cheerful, cheery, cherry adventures, even though he really hates cherries, which is so ironic. But Cherry is such a cute ship name, I can't resist it. Ah, oh, all right. Well, let's go ahead and carry on, Lily. At least I happen to really, really, really love Bing cherries, the dark red cherries, so I can eat those. And we can go ahead and pluck the cookies that are growing on the cookie bushes by the clone cookie tree to celebrate the 800th adventures we had, when suddenly my home was full of a bunch of chips clones, which was kind of adorable. And uh, let's carry on with the day, because, oh my goodness, I, I really still am sort of getting my feet under myself, and I would really love to spend a little bit more time in the garden to just kind of spruce it up some. I feel like setting it up for the brief little bit of what summer is kind of left to us. Let's come this way and grab a few of these essence berries. Why not give them a little nibble till I get to level 30? Nom nom nom, there we go. I'll go ahead, tuck the rest of the essence berries away for now. Whew. And uh, let's go back to the garden, Lily. Come on. Come on, girl. Also, I think I passed some mail on our way here. But yeah, today I wanted to spend another day in the garden because it's kind of a mess. And we had such a fun time doing our grand zoo tour. Ooh, look at that. I do have mail of the temperate forest zone. So I wanted to spend just a little bit more time taking care of my house. And I have a plan. I have a plan for something I want to do for my friends over in the Village of Light, and this might be a really fun plan that could help us lead to some zoo kitchen adventures soon, too. But first, let's see what my mail has to say. Good morning, evening, Jude. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Uh, let's see, anything- Whoa! Okay, there is something new here! Hello, glorious treasures! What's a fa Oh, we have a little Phalosaurus! <gasps> Look at this! And melon juice and popcorn and wild mint and flowering vines and carrot soup and fruit salad and chocolate bars and pumpkin bread. Oh my goodness! And all the smooth aster? We definitely need to decorate with that. There's a whole bunch of beautiful, like, summer plants we can decorate with. And then- Oh, hey! It's from Gamer Geek! Hey! So she's back around! Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you, Gamer K. Oh, I'm glad that everything is starting to work again. That is so nice. So a little hello gift from her. All right, well, let's see. What am I gonna do with all of, ooh, ganache even. Hey, I made some homemade ganache for chips for Valentine's Day, actually. All right, let's gather up the smooth aster. Thank you so much, Gamer K. The golden rod. Uh, I'm gonna gather up these flowers. And you know what? The green flowering vines would be really fun just to sort of scatter through the yard to celebrate summer. Uh, Cause I really wanna celebrate summer, Lily. Also, you're getting a little hungry, aren't you? We'll go inside and feed you in just a second. Uh, all right, well, maybe I could actually start like out here because I was thinking about putting down a few sunflowers, but these golden rods are so pretty. 
Oh, I wonder where I could get them. I mean, I don't think there's any kind of recipe you could use on the golden rods. Can I smack it with a bone meal and like get one? I'm gonna, oh, hey, there's my little mushroom, my little mushroom seat that likes to go vroom vroom. Uh, let me see, can I smack you with bone meal and maybe get another one? What if I break you? No? Okay. Yeah, we'll have to probably have a, a botanist trader pop in at some point to help us grow some goldenrod because that's very pretty. But that's so nice. I really, that is just so sweet to get gifts from friends. Oh, and we've got a little spot over here that looks like a hole. Huh. Anything could get into this hole, Lily. Anything could get in here and could eat one of my little chickens who I need to make a proper chicken coop for. So let's come over. Do I have any leaves? I do. Do I have any, hmm, I think I'm just gonna go with normal, well, there's some flowering oak leaves, but let's go for some normal oak leaves. And this actually reminds me, I had a little building project because I wanted to work on a nice little summer garden in here that I wanted to do over behind the sunflowers. So I'm not really a fan of the way that the sunflowers just look so plain behind themselves. So I was thinking what we could do is we could come up behind the sunflowers right here Oh cool, it looks like sometimes you get multiples when you break them. Nice. And I could put down a few pieces of like right here, there we go. I could put, put down a few pieces of this oak, kind of like an oak hedge, and it could kind of like sprawl across in a couple spots. Whoa, all right, that's, there we go. Carpenter block there that I didn't know about. It could kind of sprawl around a little bit and then on top, because look at how now there's like a background border to those sunflowers here in my lovely garden. Come on, Lily, no need to be shy. Also, why don't we go ahead and just have like a nice, oh, that's kind of pretty. I didn't know I had a carpenter block down there, but let's, let's actually replace this hedge piece right over here with some thicker fencing or some thicker pieces like this. All right, now something could climb into my garden, but maybe I could actually climb out for once. So this might be mutually beneficial, Lily. Uh, oh gosh, and you're really hungry, girl. Oh, and I need to put down, I still have to take out the mail. Thank you so much, Gamer K, that was so sweet. And actually, maybe it'd be fun to have a little, you know what, I think it would be fun. Where's my hedgehog? I need to, there's my little hedgehog. Thank you, little hedgehog. The little hedgehog likes to dig up dead leaves and things like that, but I might need to take care of it in a bit. Uh, this can go back to being normal dirt right over here. Come on. Gosh, my yard really needs to be managed. It's it's somewhat of a mess. But you know what? I kind of like this idea. Let's carry on. If we're going to go for a little hedge fence, let's just go all the way. Why not? Let's put down some uh, some of these leaves. I think I need to move this little mushroom, the brown mushroom box. Maybe I could just leave it like right there. <laughs> Oh dear, like a cute little mushroom that just sort of grows amongst it. You know what, if we're gonna leave it anywhere, let's leave it over here and just imagine that maybe the hedgehog nibbles on it a little bit, cause that's cute. And let's make like a little hedge arch. This is not what I had planned, meticulously planned for once for the day, but I just wanna, I wanna go with the joy. I wanna just go with the flow of whatever joy and inspiration comes our way, eh? All right, there we go. I'm so glad Chips is gonna be okay. Oh, oh, that was, that was, that I, I, I mean, I already knew I loved him, but I didn't realize, like, I mean, I knew I loved him and I wanna spend the rest of my life with him. And yes, I will try to get a ring on his finger one day if I can ever convince him. But like, uh, there's a diff there's there was a certainty, a clarity that I just knew, oh, I really love him all of a sudden. Oh gosh, like I knew I loved him already, but still. Oh, and here I am gonna spend the whole time, Lily, going on about cheery stories. That's not the way to do things. Let me go ahead and feed you some mutton. There you are, my dear. But you know what? Maybe it's important to talk about love, Lily. Maybe it's very important to talk about love now and then and let people know the different ways that love can enter your life. Ah, uh, I mean, ugh, ugh, I'll leave the more, the more deep talks about like, oh, but you need to make sure that, of course, you could go on without the person that you love. You have to be your own person for later, because I'm not in the mood. <laughs> but you guys know what I mean. It's, 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 it's you, ha you should have a full life no matter what, but it just was something to realize how much I love him. 
in, in so many ways. All right, this is really cool. I was not expecting myself to like come up here and just like start plunking down a hedge fence of some kind. Uh, I actually thought we were gonna work on something else entirely, but I sort of like where the direction is going. I like where it's taking me. Uh, I think I need to put down, I'm gonna put down a couple plops of dirt that has been chiseled right there. Do I have a chisel? And we'll just go with the flow. Let me see, uh, chisel, chisel, chisel. I'm pretty sure I had a chisel somewhere in here. There it is. I knew it was hiding here somewhere. But yeah, so I guess this is a good lesson, guys, in uh, if you ever bump into something super spooky in life where suddenly it feels like everything is the, where you know it's it's you're crossing you're crossing the line there your life is not this this is intense like when you bump into the kind of intensity where you're like oh this is the kind of stuff that changes your life forever sometimes it's just absolutely terrifying and mind-numbing and frightening but that doesn't mean that it's a bad thing so i guess that's what if i could pass on any kind of wisdom that i learned from this oh that's beautiful i like the look of that uh, then I would say I would say that's it is that even if it's super spooky and even if you are kind of like chanting no 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 I don't want to be here I don't want this to be happening in your mind and in your heart then at least at least just take comfort in the certainty that you might gain from whatever is going on of knowing where your heart really is because sometimes you can get caught up in like oh what do I really feel about this situation? How do I really feel about this person? So if you come up to something that's sort of spooky or you can kind of feel like your heart is breaking, it, it can sometimes help you at least find some clarity in what you actually feel and what is actually important to you. And I'm just really grateful for that sense right now, that's for sure. All right, Lily, let's go ahead and make just a little bit more of this little hedge maze fence thingy that somehow I have started. And I'm gonna have it touch down right there. Whoops, that was a carpenter's spot as well. Uh, there we go. And I've kind of made myself a very odd sprawling little canopy of leaves. And I'll take it, because it's pretty cute. It's pretty cute in its own way. And I think that it's a nice, refreshing, shaded spot for the heat of the summer days to kind of back off. Uh, and Chips and I really love hanging out in our backyard. You can see tons of pictures on Instagram all the time of my trees and my leaves. And so you can walk in and have like a nice little shaded view and then pop out and have a whole bunch of beautiful sunflowers waiting for you. I like it. Plus I have to admit that oak leaves are a quick, fast, cheap way to decorate your front yard. Look at that, Lily, suddenly bushes suddenly bushes and I don't even have to worry about adding more things because it's just like whoop do I need something to go there well let's go ahead and put down a bush also I didn't know you could get seeds when you I guess that makes sense because a fern sometimes counts as um a fern counts as like a grass block but that was interesting all right let's go ahead and clear out my inventory a little bit of some of the mishmash riffraff that I have collected uh, let's see, cherry ice cream. I want to eat that cherry ice cream. I am the mood for all things cherry. Oh, and let's put Gamer K's lovely little book away. There we go. Oh, Lily, I have to admit, I do like these days at home, but we should probably go rescue your brother at some point. He is still lost inside of the giraffe exhibit. It's been a little while, so I should probably go fetch Tate. Uh, there we go. All right, maybe a couple more bushes just for decor. Maybe clear out a couple more spots over here. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. And there, and there, there. Ha, huh, it feels a little bit more like home now, Lily. There's nothing like getting your hands sort of sunk into the leaves at times. And I wanna put a couple oak trees over here to provide some more shade. And I really like this. This feels, it feels like the garden is a bit more contained and contained with the kind of stuff that makes it home. All right, there we go, like some bushes. And for now, we'll just have like some tall bushes. Ooh, let's make another one of the little hedge things, like right over here. What do you think about that, Lily, eh? We, we don't have many, many leaves to work with, but I think that it'll work out. All right, there's that one. There we go, over here. Nice, I kind of need to take off the sharp edge right there. 
What do you think, Nora? Hopefully we'll get you some of this nice shade too. But that'll be fun because then it'll be like you can pass through into different sections of the garden instead of just staring at it and going, oh, this needs a lot of work. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I need to take out this spot too. There we go. Because I need a little bit more room to be able to wiggle. There. Lovely. I like that. And Gamer K's flowers are the perfect little accent to just kind of sprinkle in amongst all of this. So yeah, guys, if if you too find yourself kind of paralyzed and, and terrified going, wait, nope, 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 I don't want this to be happening. Not to the love of my life, please. Uh, and we're all probably going to find, to be blunt, we're all going to find ourselves in a position like that at some point in our lives where we will kind of want to rail against, I think I, think I want to keep all the asters and the anemones on the side, where we will very much want to resist what is happening because it is absolutely not what was supposed to happen. It is definitely shifting everything and you know even if things are going to be fine it's going to change how you sort of view yourself or your situation forever um but just even if it really sucks i hope that you too can find a way to kind of at least lean into the certainty that you get from it of the clarity of like oh this really matters and this doesn't really matter and now i really feel that to the depths of my bones right now and I don't think Aster and Strawberry really mix that well side by side, to be honest. But anemones do. Oh, they're so cute. All right, Lily, let's go get some oak leaves. Enough of my emotional ramble. It's been a week. It's been quite the week. And we're trying to get ready for our big trip, after all, my friends. Our mysterious adventure that will be taking us uh, away from home. And I cannot wait to share with you guys. It's going to be quite exciting. Uh, oh my goodness, it's going to be so exciting. The, the patrons already know where we're going, and I've been dropping hints left and right all over the place. Uh, let's see, and I want tree saplings. Dun 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 Where are my oak? There are my oak! I've got plenty of oak! We're fine on oak! I don't need to worry about oak, that's for sure! And let's get some bone meal. And now this is going to be tricky. Because I always have to worry a little bit when we plant trees next to the house lily. Alright. Oh, but my garden looks so much nicer now. We've definitely spruced it up for summer. I feel much better about this side of things. We've got all these sunflowers that I can work with. I can come down. Hello, Nora. I can come down. We can replace some of the crops. So I sort of feel like they are summery crops. <gasps> like chilies. I know a lot of people like chilies, right, Lily? And then next time we might come over and I kind of have been wanting to work on the herb garden a little bit. And maybe, little girl, do a little cooking for that very special surprise I want to give to the Builders of Light over in the Village of Light. So let me go ahead and plunk down a couple trees to provide nice shade. Please be big. Okay, that's literally not a big tree. <laughs> Lily, this won't work. It gave me an apple though. That was very sweet. But literally not a big tree. Literally a small tree. But hey, at least I have more oak leaves to replace the ones I just lost. So that's a thing. All right, let's try again. All right, good. Didn't knock down my house. Always a concern. Big tree, big tree, big tree, big tree. Better. You know what? I'll take it. I can walk under it. It'll probably get tangled in my hair, but it'll work. All right. Okay, no. You're a little too small. <laughs> I guess I should have just grown a tree if I wanted to make a little hedge maze, huh? Because anything I leave behind will make a perfect little hedge maze. All right. Hey, 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 back off you. All right. And let's clear this tree out. Let's try again. I should probably, whoops, I should probably be putting down like some cobblestone or something because oak trees will grow wherever they can. Oh my gosh. <sighs> All right, you know what? If this next one is a small tree, I'm just kind of going to leave it. And you know what? It might be kind of fun to just plant a whole bunch of trees and like randomly chop at it and leave whatever's left behind as like a bonsai art. Or I guess it would be tree sculpting art. Big tree, big tree, big tree, big tree, big tree, big tree, big tree. Come on, big tree. Well, you know, I can walk under it. I give up, Lily. This is this is gonna be just the shape of our summer trees, I think. And let me sprinkle a few. You know what? It provides shade. I can live with it. I can live with it. I was hoping for bigger, but this'll do. This'll do. Nice, beautiful sunflower field. Lily, you look happy. 
We've got some anemones now. I can come over. I can gather up more sunflowers. Let's just use up the rest of this bone meal on sunflowers really quickly. Because all of these sunflowers can actually be transformed into either these really pretty sunflower bouquets or we could even make them into sunflower seeds and from sunflower seeds we can have trail mix sunflower wheat rolls with dinosaur eggs apparently we can have spring salad sunflower broccoli salad seed soup salted sunflower seeds of all sorts of different types of salt and cooking oil which could then be transformed into even more food hmm i think i might feel a little bit of a cooking spree coming on me but there we go i like it guys let me, let me just look at my garden for a second. Just gently spruced up Lily, and now we have the addition of a very important memory tree that will always remind me when I don't know what to do in life, when I'm not sure what I should be going, like where I should be going or what I should be doing. I know to the depth of my heart now where I should be and what direction I want to head in. And I like that. I like that. Certainty out of out of terror, I suppose. Uh, but I need to let go of the terror part because we have so many big adventures coming up. I am so excited to share them with you guys. If you are already not following me on my little Instagram, I highly recommend it because uh, once this weekend hits, Chips and I are spending our August traveling overseas and I'm going to be bringing you all with me. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.